All right, welcome to Strider Tree Gear. Today we're talking about a couple of my favorite saddles, the Monkey Beaver saddle, built made by uh, August Haneke and uh, Samurai Joe in collaboration with New Tribe. And we're comparing contrasting today with the Teufelberger Tree Motion, the, the newer version. All right, so starting out with the Monkey Beaver. Now this saddle is about three years old, so it's got a little bit of wear and tear. It was my primary work saddle uh, for quite a while, for the whole time I had it. Um, on the whole, I loved it. So I want to talk about some of the key features. A few subtle things have changed in the newer model. The seams are a little bit different, but essentially it's the same. So a couple of the key features about this saddle is, is um, especially in contrast to the Teufelberger, is it has a few a few things that make it ideal for the production climber maybe not necessarily the competition climber maybe not necessarily the person who has been doing this forever and wants to customize every aspect of it but for the person who wants to buy a saddle and start making money this has a couple of key features that um, that are advantages one of them being these two aluminum D-rings uh, D that are purposed as accessory loops so most saddles you see have got these little cloth accessory loops similar to this handle but this one's got these, these aluminum D-rings and they've got a little bit of an angle to them right here. And what that does is it holds them out away from your body a little bit so when I'm climbing, it's all really easy to put carabiners on these and to uh, other accessories without even having to look. Like I always know where they are, they're always in the same place and they're always off my body so it's super easy to attach and disconnect uh, other equipment. Moving around, it's very easy to put on and off. So all you gotta do is obviously step in the middle. I feel like I loan this to someone skinny. Waist belt, reach under, you pass these guys, click. And click, now you're on. Um, it also comes with these, these sort of light duty buckle straps that keep the legs from moving around from sliding up or coming down. Uh, I, I wore it as long as I had it and then this one broke because it's just plastic and then I realized you don't really need it. So it's kind of nice to have them off. Keeps the legs a little more loose, a little more breathable. If you're standing up on a branch, you don't hardly can hardly tell the leg loops are on. Uh, and that is, is actually really comfortable after a while. It can be a little unnerving for a brand new climber who wants to feel supported and, and held everywhere. But, um, but it actually doesn't change anything in the way it functions. So I kind of, I like that this is loose and comfortable. Um, I would say the biggest advantage, at least that I've found, of this saddle over that one, besides the extra features that it comes with, is the fact that um, it doesn't tend to pinch my junk. And, you know, most of us climbers are dudes and some of us are not, so, you know, this may not be a factor for everyone. But I never had any issues with uh, my nether regions getting caught while I'm moving around through the trees. And so that, um, it's just not the case with the, the tree motion. I, I find that I fairly frequently end up pinched in an uncomfortable way uh, when I'm in awkward angles, climbing through the canopy. For whatever reason, the way that these soft, uh, wide hip belts, the, the, the way that they sit keeps that from happening. So I haven't had any issues with that and I, I really like that about this saddle. Um, I wanna point out, I've actually got an aftermarket bridge on here. It, it comes standard with just one bridge but I'm able to fit two ropes through the little opening that the one bridge has. So if you wanted to change that, you can. It's not like it's something that's uh, impossible to have. It just doesn't come standard with two bridges like the tree motion. It also in these lower D-rings, so as I've climbed more, I find I really like to use these lower D-rings more often. Uh, they're not quite as nice and big and fancy and ergonomic as the tree motion. They've got their own proprietary ring I, I find it functions essentially the same, but it's just a little bit more difficult to attach to, to clip onto, just because of the size difference. These are a little bit smaller. These lower D-rings on the tree motion, a little bit bigger. Uh, there's big DMM rings and that nice wide radius makes it, just like this attachment point over here, that wide radius makes it easy to snag 
with a with your um, your climbing lanyard. But for those of you who don't know, the beauty of these lower D-rings is that when I'm sitting back like against a tree or at an odd angle, it supports my lower leg as well as my back. So I find a little less back fatigue, a little less pressure around your lumbar, um, and so it makes for a more comfortable saddle over the long time or over a longer period of working in it throughout the day. One more cool feature that this has over the other one is it comes standard with a chainsaw lanyard and a clip right here. So most of your um, uh, the, sort of the generic chainsaw lanyards we can get, um, they've got a, a ring on it and then they've got a, a brass hook. So you hook the brass clip here and then you click the ring right into this spot uh, and it gives you a place to stow your big chainsaw and that's built right into the saddle. You don't have to add that. It's not some extra accessory. This is an extra accessory. I put that on. It doesn't come with this, the transporter, but I do highly recommend it if you don't have one. It's worth the 60 bucks. I bought two of them. I've got one on each of these. Fantastic uh, accessory, but it doesn't come with it. This does. All right, so I want to make a, a subtle point. The, the actual feel and function of these two saddles is really similar. Um, they're fairly comparable. I'm willing to bet that the, the comfort factor is just going to vary person to person more so than any actual hardware difference. Um, but for me, I'll give you my personal take on it as far as my experience. I really like the wide uh, area on these leg straps. It makes for very comfortable sitting. I can, I can be hanging from the crane or in a tree all day, no problem, and really enjoy it. Uh, I, it I feel like these are slightly more comfortable than the tree motion. Um, the one thing I found that is to be a little bit different, and this might be a function of, of how I've got mine adjusted, and I might be able to tweak this a little bit, but I find it's a little bit easier for me to move around at odd positions in the other saddle. So this one wants to twist with me, or wants to stay in the same place, whereas I find the tree motion actually twists with me a little bit better. Um, if I'm out limb walking, you know, way out here at some crazy odd angle, right? And I find I don't get quite the same support and I don't feel quite as stable and well attached um, with this saddle that, as I do in the tree motion. Tree motion seems to maintain a really comfortable balance point for my tie a little bit better than this saddle. So for things like competitions, climbing competitions where you're doing a lot of movement really quickly, or if you're doing a whole lot of big crown cleanouts, but you're not carrying a big saw because um, you're not doing big removals, um, I would find I probably would prefer the positioning of the tree motion in many scenarios, uh, with the exception of the fact that it tends to pinch here in the middle. So some pros and cons. It's, it's not a clear winner in the comfort and ergonomics category. I don't think there is one either way. Uh, I think that your mileage is gonna vary as much as our bodies vary. So, you know, take that with a grain of salt for what it's worth. On the whole though, it's really comfortable. It balances well. I don't have any trouble moving around, sitting up, bending back, getting from one side or the other. It's all pretty dang comfortable. Um, and there's a set of suspenders that I actually have on my tree motion right now that I would wear with this as well for clipping into things like the uni sender um, for single rope and other types of, of climbing. Um, I always wear the suspenders since they came out, absolutely love them. Uh, but they're fairly universal, I've been switching back and forth. But Monkey Beaver makes those and I highly recommend those. But we'll get more into that with the next saddle. So that's the rundown for, with uh, the Monkey Beaver. So it's got a few more features for the production climber. It's, it's fairly comfortable. It's a little bit cheaper considering the features so that in order to add the features that this has on that other belt, it's going to increase the cost after the fact. Um, but otherwise, they have a very similar starting price. Um, similar ergonomics. Probably a little bit lighter weight, just, just a little bit. And only one bridge, whereas the, the new Tree Motion has two. So, oh, here, check this out. So quick and easy to get out of. Boom. And I'm out. Love that. So as to the tree motion, love this saddle. I've been using it for probably eight months now. I'm really getting a good feel for it. Got it well adjusted. I want to point out a couple of key features. The adjustability and the customizability of this saddle is unparalleled. There's nothing else on the market like it. Um, it's got all these little holes 
for adding accessory rope, accessory string. I've got my, my, um, my saw scabbard actually mounted across the flat of my back, which doesn't change shape much. And so I have a really easy time just pulling out my saw, making a cut and sticking it back in. Um, and this rarely gets caught on branches. It it's works really well for me. I've been pretty happy about that. Um, and that's because of these little loops. It's also got this spot here in the back where these two straps, so you can actually, if you look closely, there's all these um, webbing straps that make up the, the majority of the strength of the saddle. There's this material which gives it a little bit of structure and rigidity, but these webbing straps are the strength of it. And you can adjust the width of this very precisely to fit your shape of hip and your size. Um, I imagine our, our female arborist could probably do a much better job adjusting this to their shape. Uh, than the, the more generic uh, shape of a lot of the other saddles. Now the monkey beaver you can buy in a couple different sizes and so that's nice as well, but um, this one's one size fits all because it's so adjustable. The downside of all this adjustability and customizability is it doesn't come standard with very many features. Um, everything you see on here aside from the black and red is, a, is an add-on that I personally put on. This, um, these suspenders that I wear are by New Tribe, the Monkey Beaver Suspenders. Love them. Uh, the, this is a transporter by Rock Exotica. Obviously my saw. Um, this is another little hook I put on the other side. And that's another add-on. It's all things that I've done. It does come with two bridges though. The Monkey Beaver only comes with one. I like having two bridges. Being able to be on two different attachment points at different directions is great or just to be a little bit redundant about my own tying point is nice as well. Comes with a ring on it, already mounted. Another cool feature of this saddle is the, uh, the removable and replaceable hip belt. Now, as you can see, it's a bit of a dust trap in here, um, which is gonna make it actually come off more or less. I've finally started having issues with it peeling away when I don't want it. But it's nice to know that as this gets saturated in sweat and stinky and nasty that it could actually be replaced or pulled off and thrown in the wash and cleaned. So um, that's kind of a cool feature. And it's the same with the leg straps. They can also be pulled free on some Velcro and just washed or replaced when it comes time. One cool feature about these buckles um, is that they, you can't release them under tension. So for example, if I push on my, my hip buckle here, I'm gonna push my stomach out, make some tension. While it's tight, I can't release the buckle. It won't release. In order to let it go, it has to be slack. You push, it, push the belt in while you squeeze it. So it's a little extra layer of safety there. It's not just gonna come loose on you accidentally. As far as how it feels when I'm actually sitting in it, weight on the rope, um, like I said before, it's really similar to the Monkey Beaver. I'm not going to go through and explain the lower D-rings because they also feel very similar, aside from the fact that I really appreciate how big these things are. It's super easy, you know, to clip on my lanyard to these. Love it. Probably my favorite feature about this, this particular saddle. Other than that, very similar. If I'm moving this way, it actually stays, the harness stays with me a little better. Notice it didn't shift around like the, the monkey beaver did. Same thing over here. I'm all the way sideways, horizontal, no problem. I feel very in control, very stable, well uh, held in place, you know, very comfortably in almost any odd angle. So if there's anything that I, I think this does super well, perhaps even a little bit better than the monkey beaver, and this, again, my very person to person, it's how, how contained and how in place it stays uh, no matter what position I'm in. I feel like uh, when I'm moving through a canopy, this is always comfortably supporting me wherever it is I need the support. So in that sense, it does that job very well. It's probably a function of how, how, custom, well, how custom it fits, um, but also just the ergonomics, the shape, and the geometry of all these straps which allows you to, to customize that fit is, is excellent. Um, you can do the same, very similar customizations with the Monkey Beaver, 
there may not be an actual difference in this, but this is my experience with the two saddles that I've used and the adjustments I've had. Um, I'll have to show you guys a little bit later how to adjust it because it is a bit of a trick. Teufelberger actually has a pretty good video online for adjusting the tree motion to fit you um, and that's worth, uh, worth checking out. Let me know what you guys think. Um, this is the saddle I'm running every day. That's my backup saddle. I would still happily climb with either one. They're both excellent saddles. Uh, let me know what you're running. Let me know if there's something I missed. And if there's any other gear you'd like me to review, like, comment, subscribe, uh, and uh, be sure to turn on notifications for new content coming out. We've got a couple more great episodes to go. So thank you for being involved. Strider Tree Gear. See you guys next time.